Welcome, everybody, to Word Revolt Art Gallery in virtual reality. We are excited to have you here this evening. We're more excited to have 11 artists from six different countries from around the world. This is our international show of the year, and we welcome everyone with open arms as Word Revolt stands to make art free. For it's not free, it's not liquid, and if it's not liquid, it's not free. As you can see, all the spaceships are lining up, so let's take a tour of the gardens. We're going to start with the Garden Park. This is where local artists design different sculptures for virtual reality and turn them in. But what's this? Ah, a giant bottle of Narbucha. He is a local, and his product is the best. If you love Narbucha, you should definitely check out Narbucha from Chris. He's a local to Florida, and he's located on Mayport Road in Jacksonville, Florida. But you could also find him online and anywhere products are sold. That wasn't a plug. He's actually a friend. So make sure you check out his product because it is really good. And we're back to the front and going to the right side of the gallery. We're looking at the other sculptures. This is a bonsai tree to the left created by Todd Warren. As you can see, it's a little small, but let's see if we can get a little closer. Yep, and there it is and some of the other local sculptures created for the garden. It's a wonderful place where you can relax, drink tea, and hopefully enjoy yourself before meeting the masses. Now, on the back side of the gallery, we have a garden, a uh, greenhouse of sorts, where everyone likes to meet and talk about the arts and what is to come for every community that is struggling currently with what's going on. We do apologize for the video being a little choppy, but you know, we're learning as we go. And here we are, we're in the greenhouse, and these two really tiny characters, um, just to the, oh, we're out of there, but that's okay. We're gonna focus back out and meet you inside of Word Revolt Art Gallery. We're excited you're here. Let's get inside and look at some art. And from there, we'll tell you about each artist and why this is such a wonderful night. Thank you for being here. I'll see you inside. Goodbye. Oh, look, a fish tank. Imagine that at Word Revolt. Oh, well, <laughs> you see Echo on the right? I do, too. Isn't that cool? Well, welcome to Word Revolt Inside Edition. And we're happy to have you here. Let's go ahead and talk to Echo, the robot. Oh, Echo, don't be shy. It's okay. Come on. Talk to me. I'm okay and running on full capacity. My blaster is charged. My blaster is charged. Move on and enjoy art or enjoy my blasters. Oh, I know your I know your blaster is so awesome. I know up 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 I see the light. Don't be shy. Okay. Well, Echo's moving on. <laughs> it was his blaster that made him this way. Oh, hello. The host of Word Revolt Art Gallery, Miss Elizabeth. Oh, you're looking fabulous in that yellow dress. Thank you, Todd. Hi, my name is Miss Elizabeth, gallery receptionist here at Word Revolt VR. The gallery rules include rule number one, keep one albatross apart. Rule number two, always wear space helmets. Rule number three, the universe belongs to no one. Be sure to check out the virtual catalog of all of the artists in the show coming soon. Thanks for attending tonight. Leave your comments in the guest book. Enjoy the show. Oh, I know. The rules? Oh, six feet apart and mask. I understand. Well, you have to understand, too, that artists like to break rules. Bloop. Bloop. Hello, everybody. This interruption is brought to you by Quartz the Fish. Oh, hello, Quartz. Welcome. Oh, what a 
am I doing here? Well, you've obviously just arrived here from Earth's Shipping Yard, a new novella by Todd Rakashevsky, and you're actually just in time to see the show. Oh, a show? I love shows. And bloop, bloop, I'm excited to be a part of it. Fantastic. We are thrilled to have you. All right, the tour begins now. Bloop, bloop. I know. It's hard, but that's okay. We'll see you soon. I know. Miss Elizabeth, thank you for the rundown. And the furniture is designed by my wife, Teresa Rakiszewski, who has this wonderful understanding of not losing your keys in the slips of time, which means why does everything have to have broken Bases. It, it makes no sense. Anyways, look at these guys. They're enjoying tea brought to you by Leaf and Bean. They're having so much fun. And that couch. That couch. Isn't that couch great? Yeah, look at these people. They're, they're all having fun. And the best part about it is the art. Everyone's having fun. So here we are. We're at Word Revolt Art Gallery. Live. And excited, really, to bring to you the few simple things of life that are the word revolt, which is life, liberty, and the freedom of tiny green people, apparently. And here we go. Mila Gravadial is a visual artist from Serbia. Mila's acrylic on canvas artwork stares is inspired by the architecture of brutalism and social realism of New Belgrade. The stairway. Isn't that wonderful? That said, we're moving on to this strange individual. Who is he and why does he have a helmet on and a blue vest? But that's okay because we're going to understand his direction and for that we bring to you Mr. Blue Vest and his personal direction towards Earth. Andre Prim is a musician, composer, and multimedia artist from Brazil. His work is based on the unique mixture of the sacred tradition of Afro-Brazilian rhythm with electronic elements. This is from his artwork, ID. ID. It's an animation short movie about a pictorial study of the loss of identity in the digital era. The image of a fingerprint is melted and gives way to the futuristic landscape made from ruins. Thanks, Andre, for your deep understanding of individuality and the mark of humanity. And now, let's go ahead and move to the piano. And from there, another wonderful piece created by... Suzanne Layla Peterson, a digital artist based in Fredericksburg, Denmark. This image, The End of the World as We Know It, is a still from seven digital videos created during 2019, including Suzanne's other pieces in this exhibition, Manifesto, Black and Red, which we will look at upstairs. And now we reach my wife's painting. This painting is unlike the rest. Illuminated Canopy. Oh, what a great title. By that name, the craftsmanship should tell you alone that this is one of a kind. This is part of Teresa Rakiszewski's series, Vibrant Forest. And that said, should sell you the rest. This series is available 
at wordrevolt.com. That's wordrevolt.com. Daria Stepanek, a mixed media artist that is full of passion and wonder. She uses her bright colors and her negatives to create a tango between left and right. And that's where we meet her. We meet her at her piece called Like Tango. It's a abstract like no other. And for that, we are absolutely honored to have her in the Word Revolt virtual reality show. Sabita Lakshmanan is an artist from India. This mixed media ink drawing on paper is titled Protected by My Higher Self from her Mindscapes series. She says, When the journey becomes too hard, I can always count on nature and my higher self to shield me. Abby Howard Murphy is a fine artist from Jacksonville, Florida. Murphy frequently paints plain air and began her artistic career through environmental studies and preservation. Burnished March. Plain air. Oil on canvas. John Merwin is a Central Florida-based artist. His primary focus is abstract and minimalist art with oil on canvas paintings as well as his digital watercolor as seen in his work. In this specific portrait, he has portrayed his ability to show 3D, 2D, and 1D perspective. He is a great artist, and we are welcomed for his abilities. Todd Regashevsky, Kitchen Table Flowers, 2017, Dollar Store Crayons, Ajax, Oil, Acrylic, Spray Paint, and Butter on Canvas. Set on the kitchen table, the wax flowers hold any room until the heat directs otherwise. This is from our very own Todd Regashevsky an abstract and experimental artist. Here we are observing Susan Layla Peterson's manifesto series started in 2018 as an online project that grew into an evolving work in progress. Manifesto Red 2. Loredana Bradishia is an artist from Croatia. This acrylic on canvas painting titled Lux Monday 2 is sized in real life at 50 by 70 centimeters, originally created in 2018. The statement regarding this abstract painting is one that we need to hear today at the end of 2020. To quote the artist, there is still hope for this world we live in where the daily bad news reminds us that all good is lost. Every day is a new opportunity to be grateful and live to the fullest. It is not difficult to bring a light into someone else's life if only you want to. She says, My work is a reflection of my inner world where emotion, memory, and music are captured through the way I express myself. Every time I paint, I have a different approach with no expectations, which allows me to be more creative. Curiosity and playfulness are important in my creation. Thank you, Laura Donna, for those uplifting words. Suzanne Layla Peterson Manifesto Black 2 and its composition is everything that you would hope it would be. There's a great source of light, a great source of darkness, and the best part is the light and the darkness fights each other. Talking about opposites, let's go to the other side of the room. Abby Howard Murphy. She also completed Dame's Point Tugs. Plain air oil from El Faro Park with 
McAllister, Tugs, and Cranes. Teresa Johns is a photographer who spent decades capturing the beauty of the eastern coastline of the USA for history. This photograph remembers the infamous Iris Marie and the Triton II shrimp boats that sank at the Mayport Fishing Village on December 3, 2019, at 6.37 a.m. at the Safe Harbor Dock. The photo was taken right before the unstoppable descent as these boats are no longer in existence. For a print or to see what else Teresa Johns has in store, visit Coasting with Tea Studio. David Enix, also known as Mo Call on social media, is a sound designer and audiovisual programmer based in Jacksonville, Florida. About this video work, he says, Digital Genesis is an exploration of the power given to the word in digital space. It is an homage to William S. Burroughs and Brian Gisson's collaboration with Ian Somerville to explore their cut-up method of poetry with computer programming. The visuals were created using Python and Touch Designer and the sounds were synthesized with the Arthurian Micro Freak Noise Oscillator. As we conclude tonight's tour, notice Don Holder's battery-operated acrylic on wood clock seen above the entryway, frozen in virtual reality, where the keeping of time and space is now immemorial. Hello everyone and welcome to Word Revolt Art Gallery in Atlantic Beach, Florida. We are your hosts, Teresa Rekoshevsky and Todd and Echo the Robot. Thank you so much for joining us tonight for the Word Revolt VR Virtual Reality Art Exhibition. This exhibition included artists from all over the world. How many artists were there, Todd? We are excited. 11 artists from six different countries. Fantastic. Thank you so much to each and every one of you who participated and watched this exhibition online. For those of you who don't know, Word Revolt is a nonprofit art gallery. Everything sold here goes directly to the artist as it should be, and everything that comes into the gallery. It's free to propose, and it's free to show. That's think, right. Yep. We believe in freedom for the arts. We do. Thank you so much for supporting the arts with us tonight. Continue to look for more on wordrevolt.com. Yes, and never forget, if it's not liquid, it's not free. If it's not free, it's not liquid. So with that, keep art free. At the end of the day, all we have is each other. Keep creating. Good night.